Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and in this video I'm going to show you how to put together one of the mushroom half blocks from the Woodland Critters applique pattern. All right, this is one of the half blocks that are optional in the quilt. You do not need to use them, but if you want to, here's how to put them together. So this is the mushrooms. This is three of the mushrooms. The pattern includes six different mushrooms, and basically you just need to put a mushroom together with a stem. So I've got nine paired with 10, 11 with 12, and seven with eight, but you actually can mix and match these if you want to. There is no reason why you can't. So this is super simple. <laughs> you just lay down a stem and pop a mushroom cap on top of it. And you can really play around with these a little bit if you want your mushrooms to be like a little crooked, um, play around with the placement of them. I think I'm gonna put, uh, let's, I'm gonna do nine and 10 next. So I am putting these together the way they are numbered in the pattern, but again, feel free to play around and move them around. So this one's got a very sh fat, cap. And what I am doing, I am being careful. I don't want them to line up exactly at the bottom. That would look very unnatural. I want these to look like a little, like a little cluster of mushrooms you might find in the woods. Which means you might want to play around with them a little bit. So here's 11. that maybe way up here. One thing that you do want to be careful about is that you don't want, uh, you're going to have to sew this block to other blocks and you're going to have to trim it down first. So the finished block is just going to be five inches by 10 inches. And you want to make sure that your mushrooms here are within that, within those dimensions. There, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna scooch this guy down just a hair. All right, so maybe I'll scooch them over a little bit. Get it a little more centered in the block. There, that looks good. Now the bases of them are all come to different places, but it makes kind of a pleasing arrangement. So I'm gonna take that over to my ironing board, fuse it down, do all the outline stitching around them, and then come back and show you the finished block. But I also have one more set of these that I'm gonna do. So let me move these out of the way. So here's our other set of mushrooms. All right. So these guys, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with this big kind of moral looking shape. And I drew it to be leany. It has a, a bent stem. So I'll put him in the middle and let's see what we can work out around him. I might put the little guy over on the side cause he's already kind of crowding that space. So this is gonna be number three cap with number four stem. Angle that a little bit. And let's see, number one cap. With number two stem. Let's see if we like this arrangement. Give that a little bit of angle to it. Can spread these guys out just a little bit. These are maybe a little too level, so I'm going to bump them up just a smidge. All 
All right, I'm happy with how that looks. So again, fuse it using whatever the instructions for your fusible adhesive say. I use heat and bond light for all of my quilts and then uh, do all the outline stitching and then I'll bring it back here and show you the finished mushrooms. Here is one half block of the finished mushrooms, three of the finished mushrooms. I've done all of the outline stitching on them so they have nice definition and you'll be able to wash them. And I wanted to show you the other half block that I did. Here are the other three mushrooms. So the pattern includes six different mushrooms um, and I've just done three on each block and these will help to break up the grid. So if you look at the cover image for the Woodland Critters applique pattern, you'll see that it's not just a straight grid. It has a bunch of half blocks added to it that break things up and make it look much more, much more complicated, um, although it actually is still very easy to assemble. So I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World and this is how to do the mushroom block from the Woodland Critters applique pattern.